everyone in this video i'll be talking about the problems i've been having with the proline ultra reservoir shocks and what i'm going to be doing to fix those problems now to start the problems of the shocks are that the oil leaks a lot now the main reason for that is i did some research and the silicone o-rings here that are on the shocks everywhere rip easily same with these ones and they tear as well now also when you originally the piston o-ring which is this one i put a new one on but the x-ring which was originally on there would rip as well when you put it into the reservoir now all this led to a ton of oil leakage and there and i had to come i've rebuilt these like three times already and every time they just leak again so yeah that's the first problem and the second problem is that they don't really dampen that well and that's because if you see here the piston holes are huge now these are the smaller hole pistons that came with them and i've put those on it and they are still not small enough so what i actually did was i took some traxxas pistons and i put them in a drill and just kind of sanded them down until they're the correct um height to fit in there also what i did was see the, the right size also i sanded them down height wise to make them the correct height as well now all of this led to the piston o-ring side the piston hole size see here there's these are very small holes compared to these ones and yeah so i'm hoping that'll work and they fit nice they're very they have a very good fit inside the bodies i just kept slowly sanding them until they fit perfectly so yeah so that's the fix for the dampening now for the o-rings what i actually did was originally i went to my hardware store and bought some o-rings made by a material called buna n which are actually strong and these did not rip however they were slightly too large and the oil was able to leak through the inside part of them now what i did after that was i contacted proline and after a while they sent me the size of each o-ring on the shock so yeah i've ordered all of them in a different material called viton and i'll explain that in a second but i basically ordered all the o-rings here the total cost of this by the way was like four dollars like i think this was really worth it and i'll put the exact sizes in the description and i ordered them from this company and they shipped really fast they have a ton of sizes tons of materials really nice now yeah so the vitamin material the only really difference is it's slightly more chemical resistant than the buna n material which doesn't really matter and this is all based on my research by the way and also it's better for compression set slightly better they both work well though so that's why i chose it and it was only slightly more expensive like i really didn't care it was like two dollars versus four dollars which isn't that much of a difference and yeah the total cost would have been two dollars if i had gone with the buna o-rings but i didn't so yeah and finally what i found was the silicone o-rings are also not well suited for silicone oil which is strange but that's based on my research i'll put links to this stuff in the description where i got this information from so yeah so i'll be installing all of this on the shocks and hopefully they will not leak so yeah.
so after finishing that, all four shocks are done. And I washed all the oil off of them. And yeah, so they seem to work. All the other seals seem to be holding up really nicely. I didn't have any problems with o-rings slipping out of alignment as I did when I was assembling them originally. And here are all the old o-rings. There's a lot in here. And if you look here, there's actually a ripped Viton ring. So it didn't rip, but when I took it out of the sh So two of the Viton rings kind of like had slight tears in them. So I rebuilt them in the video. And when I was taking them off the pistons, they ripped. But the thing is, I think the Viton o-rings, the ones in the pistons, still might not be strong enough to hold up to the threads because I was like hammering those in literally and yeah so if that doesn't work I'll just try other materials like I said the website I got these off of the o-ring store has I don't even they have a ton of materials and there's plenty of information on the internet about like which material is best for what and I know there are other materials for instance um, polyurethane might be one of them, except I'm going to have to try to get that in metric, this specific size. Now, I did not replace the O-rings in there because those were holding up fine in the silicone O-rings, and they didn't seem to be leaking, and they're X-rings, so they have less friction. Also, I did not put the Traxxas pistons in because, um... Basically, they were too tight, and if I were to sand them down any farther, this, the sandpaper would have, like, wrecked the holes. But I think I could do it if I really wanted to, but I just decided against it. Maybe in the future. For now, I'll just deal with the amount of dampening these have. But then again, I do love, really like some of the features, like this adjustable dual-stage spring thing really helps me adjust where it is and I think the spring rates on these are pretty good for my truck particularly it is fairly heavy though but for mine it works well and yeah so yeah I haven't noticed any leakage yet but if there will is I will post another video and rebuild them again with different material and yeah so Probably will have to rebuild them. I don't really know yet, but yeah, I mean, if this continues, I might just end up selling these because I don't really feel like rebuilding them. These things are an absolute pain to build, whether you're using silicone o rings or Viton o rings. They just take a while. However, I guess if I'm only rebuilding the reservoir, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Yeah, these do take, these are hard shot, these aren't the easiest to build, like, yeah, so, yeah, so next I'll just install these on the truck, and I'll see next time if I have any more issues with these, if not, in like a few months I'll post another video explaining that these o-rings worked if they end up working, so yeah, bye.